Welcome in Full Sail Armada. I'm your host, Kyla Grant, better known as Red Roke, and we've got some Halo action. Full Sail Armada Halo is going to be taking on Florida International University, the Panthers. Both teams currently sitting at 3-2. and two. So both teams having a chance here to go to 4-2 and two, or maybe to a 15-50 record, 3-3. Three and three. Right now, both teams coming up a huge streak. Two games in the row, one. Full Sail Armada got a hot 3-0 in their last game. Same thing with the Panthers. So both teams right now are in the driving seat. But let me go ahead and read off your starting lineup for the Full Sail Armada. We're going to have Caveman and Delta starting off, as well as Leon and Banksy in the lineup today. And I'm just going to go ahead and check here and see if everything we've got ready is in the chat. Now, here's the huge talking point for today. It is Bandit. No more Battle Rifle. It is Bandit. So you're going to see a lot of different strategies, a lot of different play styles. This is going to be new teams, new games. Halfway through the season, a gun change. So expect a lot of different play styles. Who knows? This could go very differently. But I'm going to go ahead and cut us to the gameplay here. Just give me one moment. We are about to be underway here. And here we are. So, so the maps for today. We're going to be obviously starting off with the King of the Hill live fire. And then for our second, for our first slayer, excuse me, it's going to be on Aquarius, followed by a Stronghold Recharge. Now, if we go the distance, we will be playing on streets, and it will be an oddball for the fourth map. And the final slayer, if we do go to that map five, will be a live fire. So two live fires currently in for the map rotations, but you have to remember that the bandit is in rotation yes we will still see the battle rifle being able to be picked up on certain maps however it is bandit time bandit 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 now talking with the team they were like okay this is going to be a play style change so this is what the focus has been in in chat now let me just put ready they are asking but it looks like the panthers are ready to go we played two utah teams in the past games and now we have a a local Florida team ready to go. So the two three and two Florida teams are ready to square array. Your full cell armada is in the yellow, and the Panthers will be in the purple for today. Yeah, both teams starting off with losses, having some tough challenges and setbacks. But however, the Panthers do have a better map count as they've three owed more, and we've we did have that one reverse sweep against the Utah State Aggies. So Full Sail Armada is technically behind them in the rankings, even though they do tie on record. It's just the maps are not in their favor. But three seconds until we load into the map here. I want to thank you guys all for tuning in. And this will be on my personal channel today. Not on the King typical the Full Sail Armada channel. That's because League of Legends is going on right now. But we're loading up here. Onto live fire, map one between the two Florida teams. Florida International pa International Uni Uni University Panthers. Man, that is a that is a tongue twister. But let's jump on over here to Delta. Him and Caveman had an absolute Kill performance ready. last week. Enemy team took See if they can the continue hill. it on today. Bandit in hand. It's going to be Delta immediately grabbing the sniper here. Kills go trade for Banksy. Kills go offline. That's gonna go the other way now. Panthers have it. The kills so far. Progress is going towards the Panthers. Caveman's trying to say something, but he's gonna catch it. Hey, Leon gets a pick, trying to pressure out the snipers over here. A lot of pressure being put on the opposite side of the map. Even Banksy working together. Oh, he thought he got the kill. He thought he had the kill there. Wasn't aware, however. The caveman last man up here. Has to play slow, and he might get caught out here. Reinforcements, but Panthers are surrounding him and purple guns find cavemen. Enemy team Thanks to now the inside hill. the hill. The Panthers are just an inch away from controlling the hill here. Let's go on board with Delta. And it's a good posi map position here from, from the full cell armada. Caveman finds a pick off screen. Delta quick fall. Survives the grenade throws. He's gonna be forced back down. Caveman's looking over him. Oh, but a sniper bullet rings across the map here and finds Cave. It's not going to finish him. Delta gets traded meanwhile. Thanks, you trying to stay alive here. In progress, and both teams right now are on the verge of completing the hills. 
Caveman gets one. The full cell armada are very close. But you can't, you can't forget that. The Panthers are also there as well. Both teams right now just dancing around, trying to get this first hill to go their way. Let's hop on board with Leon. Can you get pressure out towards this bridge here in front of the hill? And the Panthers are going to have to make a move here if they want to contest for the first hill. And here comes the pinch. The Panthers. They get one. They get two. They get three. And that's going to go the way of the Panthers for first hill. Full cell armada finding themselves in the back hand. But as I say that, Big Man's going to have camo here. Let's see if he's able to make a play. Or no, excuse me, overshield. I am tweaking. <laughs> but but first second, the second hill is gonna go the way of Armada to start off here. Delta gets a trade. Both players are gonna exchange a fist to the face. Let's go on board with Delta here. He's trying to push out the mid, clear it out. He's gonna drop down into bottom. The tunnels here. Let's see if he can make something happen. Can't get it to go. Banksy's getting some Enemy pressure on the hill. Full Sail Armada right now is on the verge of completing the hill. Nade's ringing out here. Banksy, fist in the face, gets caught with the grenade, however. And Full Sail Armada spawns out. And Panthers break just barely. I mean, look at that progress. So, Full Sail Armada is inches away from tying up this king of the hill. The Panthers, however, in the hill, getting progress. About to get halfway through this. Nobody really close to the hill right now, but I would say that Delta is going to ring out some shots over. Leon's going to try and help him. Here. They're going to trade shots here. Delta's still around. He's going to be coming on the back here with a possible pinch. But they're going to have to move soon. The hill's about to cap. Shots out. Heat wave on board. Gets one. Delta's still alive here on the hill. Progress going the way. Full solar runners just needs a hair. This is being contested, and it's going to be 1 1. So it looked a little close there after a quick start here. Full Sail Armada gets to that second hill. Enemy team took the hill. Port of Delta, he's got a heat wave and the bandit. Put some pressure on. And despite Full Sail Armada winning the second, they're able to rotate to the other side of the map. It starts getting progress on this third one. Overshield's almost online. Go the no, it's not. It almost went the way there of the Panthers, but not today. Leon looking over his teammate there. Nobody's in the hill right now. They're electing to push forward and try to push out this right side of the map here. Leon's going to decide to get in the hill here. Caveman expecting pressure on the left. Let's go ahead and look at Delta. He's in a fight towards mid-map here. Caveman's going to help him. Thanks to him. Beautiful bait switch there. Can Delta get away with the life? No, he can't. Kill's coming in the way of the Panthers here. Still two players alive. Full cell armada. But here comes the pinch. Panthers putting on the pressure. Caveman has to back down. Stone is Leon. They both rotate towards bottom. Tunnel. Caveman still alive here. Catches a little bit of the grenade. Caveman just trotting up here. Trying to put some pressure down, but they think it's swung out. Delta swinging on the right. Gets one. Banksy, that's his turn to go. He's going to put pressure towards mid. Can't get the finish. Can he find the guy in the back of the hill? Yes, he will. Full Cell Armada breaks right back in. A quick break there from the Panthers, and Full Cell Armada is milliseconds away from catching this. And they will. Second map. Or second hill, if you will. Excuse me. It's going to go the way of Full Sail Armada. K-Man picks up a kill towards Tunnel. And Panthers are in it first. A lot of pressure in towards bottom mid. Banksy catches one of the Panthers out. Big picks there from Banksy. 11 kills. He is absolutely tearing it up for Full Sail Armada. Let's see if we can get another one here. He's going to have to back down from the pressure from mid. Banksy staying alive. Nobody in the hill right now. Although Armada does have control of this side of the map. But as I say that, here comes the Panthers trying to put pressure on the Banksy. Banksy having to back out one more time. Gunshots coming in. He gets pressure from grenades. Bullets everywhere. Leon's turn to lay down some fire. Not going to work. He gets pushed out. Great break there from Panthers. And the progress is right back in their way. Halfway through the fourth hill. Delta now trying to come in from the opposite side. Map has flipped and a little ring around the Rosies is not gonna go the way of Delta. Enemy about to score. And I believe Overshield just got put up there. And the sniper might be in the hands of Caveman here in this moment. However, Nate's gonna force him to delay picking that up. And now the hill pressure is gonna come online. Panthers are inches away here. They're in the hill. Delta finds a pick in, into it. Slider's gonna get Caveman. Delta's gonna get another. Here comes a little shriek from Delta, but the hill's gonna go the way. It's a tie game 2-2. And you cannot look away at the moment. Sniper in the hand of Delta. We're going to go through the rotation. Back to mid-map. Delta. 
gonna come through here, cutting over to the open hand side of the map, out towards fields. Has to back down. Enemy team took the hill. Delta still has a sniper in hand, trying to make a play with it. Caveman getting active towards the hill, not gonna get it to go. Delta gets his trade. Enemy team took the hill. Pressure onto the hill here. A little bit of progress is going the way of the Panther so far. Shot! Gonna go miss! Delta almost had the head of a Panther there. Banksy has to back down. Delta trying to get something going here with the sniper. No scope. Gonna go offline. Another no scope. Still alive here. Might get being pressured out here. He gets a shot! What a way to get a kill there for Banksy. He's gonna get a punch to the face. He's gonna trade one as well. Leon's still alive here. Crucial 1v1. Can he get this final blow? He gets the punch to the face. Panther still getting progress onto the hill. Leon has to back up. Catches a grenade. Dodges it. No, he won't. Here comes a collapse onto the hill here from Full Soul Armada. And the hill's gonna go their way. Although the Panthers aren't on the doorstep for Hill 5. And as I say that, Sam gets two kills, but he's gonna get team nated. And a good nade there from Leon. Leon has to make a move now. The Panthers are inches away from getting out. Hill 5. Cape Man's gonna put pressure in. He comes rolling through. Leon's gonna try and back him up. Elects to go down into the tunnel. Here comes a quick pinch here. Trying to get with Delta into the map. Delta's gonna take possession. There's still full cell armada still needs a lot of work to do on this fifth hill. Two minutes and 49 seconds on the clock. This game is anyone so far. He cannot look away. Delta gets shot in the back, however. Cape Man putting pressure out towards towards field and kills go the way of the Panthers, and that's four down for Armada. Hill incoming. Hill 5 is going to go the way of the Panthers. And with that clean wave of kills from the end there, they're also going to be able to roll this into the next. So, right now, Armada on the back foot. Game or map point here. We'll have to look at Leon here. Can he get this kill? He's going to fall there. Shot's going to ring out from Caveman. Trying to get a final blow here towards bottom mid. Banksy's going to help him out. Banksy, what a performance. 16 kills. Second highest kills in the lobby, most for his team. It's gonna be in the hill here. Full Sail Armada, they didn't have the rotation for the first map. For this six, excuse me, for this hill. But, but they've got the map positioning. And they need to hit, get this hill. They cannot allow the Panthers to break through. But here comes the pinch, just as I say that. Two kills go the way of the Panthers. Delta with the sniper in hand. Shot offline. K-Man, last alive. Trying to delay the, the progress as his teammates come off spawn. Hill. He's just kind of punching right here. They might not know he's here. Here comes the move. Punch in the back. He's got one more to fight here. He's got Leon to his left, but he might be able to get it himself. Caveman with a huge performance there to keep Full Sail Armada alive on this Enemy sixth hill. And we might go to a seventh hill here. Him and Banksy sitting in the hill. Banksy with seven, 17 kills. Delta picks one up as I say that, and I believe Full Sail Armada is going to have the sixth hill here. And we go to a deciding seventh hill. Take it or leave it. Map one will be decided right here. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. Plenty of time. It will be decided here. But here comes Leon and Delta. Leon falls. Delta now is trying to get his trade. Has to run up high. Back punch. Smacks him down. Top tower control goes the way of full cell armada. Courtesy of Delta. Delta now getting inside the hill. He knows there's somebody around the back here. He's looking, trying to clear it out. And Leon spots it. Banks gets a pick. Armada trying to get in the hill. Pressure out towards mid. Multiple players. Armada getting kills. A wave of kills for the yellow team. And right now, Full Sail Armada starting that progress for the final hill here. Trying to take map one. Banksy's going to fall. And that means there's going to be a lot of pressure coming on this right side. Delta's going to decide to step up here. Pressure at bridge. He's going to get a kill. Courtesy of Leon's help. Here comes Delta with a nice pinch. He could potentially win the map here. This could be huge. However, kills go the way of the Panthers. Here comes the flake! Here comes the flake! Banksy helps him out with two. And Delta and Banksy make it so advantageous. It's just over half the progress here of map seven. Two minutes left. Heat wave in the hand. Punch up line for Delta, but it's still a comfortable position here. Panthers have to break here. Full Cell Armada trying to wrap it up here. Here comes pressure on the mid map. Banksy's gonna get caught out. Caveman and Leon working together here. Can Caveman get his trade? Yes, he will. Still alive here in the bottom tunnel. Caveman, a lot of progress that Panthers still have to make, but good position here from Caveman. He's gonna try and go into the back door. Sneaky, sneaky Caveman. Here he comes, pressure's on, but he gets caught out, gets a kill. Delta and Caveman still alive. Delta, progress, trades, kills are being traded everywhere. Leon with one, Leon with two! And I believe that will do it. Full Cell Armada.
is going to be map one. What a beautiful play there from Caveman and Delta. Putting pressure onto the map here. Even though Caveman got caught out on the back hill, it was just way too much pressure on the pinch. And Full Cell Armada takes map one. <laughs> oh man, I need, to, I need to breathe there. What a round there from your Full Cell Armada. And this could go the distance if this map one is anything to indicate. Both teams had a 3-2 record. And a 3-4 King of the Hill. This could be... An edgy series. We could go all the way to a map five. So Armada, if you're tuning in just now, that was our first map, a King of the Hill live fire. It started off in the way of the Panthers on the first hill, and there were some great kills and some great plays from the Panthers. However, Full Sail Armada stuck through it and was able to get to get that final hill. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the scores here. And Delta on Banksy absolutely performing there. Banksy was strong without, and Delta at the very end really turned up there. What a performance from him. 22 kills going way of each. But on the other side for the Panthers, Sam had 25 kills. Wow, FIU had a man carrying. We're going to need to see a little bit more from some of the other players of the Panthers if they want to respond in the map two. So what is map two, you might be asking? Well, let's go ahead. It's going to be a Slayer on Aquarius. Now, now, we were, I was talking a couple of weeks ago with some of the players. Now, Aquarius, the key is getting top mid control. However, on Slayer, it can play a little bit different because, you know, the objective is getting kills. So we'll see how Armada elects to take it. And you have to remember, we saw it there. There's a new gun, the Bandit. It's not that burst Slayer. rifle. It's that semi-auto, you know, tap, 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 tap gun. But here we go, after a nail-biting map one, full cell armada is up 1-0 over the Panthers heading into this Slayer. Looking to extend this to 2-0 and, and go to match point. Or can the Panthers respond here? Let's go on board with Delta. Him and Banksy having a beautiful performance in the last one. See if they can continue their flurry of kills. Right now. Or the wrong person. I thought that was dealt all times. So I was like, something looks wrong. But the first three kills are going to go away. Full Sail Armada. Excuse me, guys. I was so confused there. I was like, what is wrong with this image? <laughs> but it's going to be a quick response from the Panthers. Delta trying to burst up the mid map. He's going to get so. Just flying across here. He's going to stay alive. He's got a 1v1 hit. Can he win it? No, just barely. Gets edged out there. On board now with Banksy. It's 3 4 in favor of Armada at the start here. Banksy now running across the map. Playing alongside Delta. Leon gets a kill, making this 3-5, doubling their lead. Here comes Delta, making trying to make a sneaky play possibly here. I don't know if the Panthers know. Oh, now they know, but there's so many purple jerseys surrounding him. But he's got teammates to back him up. Three kills go the way of Full Sail Armada. Four kills go the way of Full Sail. And Delta with four of them himself. A beautiful play there. I thought Delta was surely going to get caught out there, but his teammates there backing him up. He's going board with Leon. He's very high, trying to extend this lead. Continue the way it kills, but he's going to get caught out with Nate. Caveman here is going to get a trade. Gets two big kills there from Cave. Delta with another one. Delta is in a 1v1 after getting that first kill. He has to back down, and a 12-4 lead is a 13-4 is a strong lead for Full Sail here. Starting off beautifully, continuing their men momentum from map one. Delta has two in his sights. He's gonna have to back down. Banksy's gonna try and just trade it out. He's got the heat wave in hand. Runs out of ammo, and Leon comes with the cleanup. But man, what beautiful teamwork from Armada. One guy goes in, gets too much heat on him, and another steps up. But as I say that, the Panthers get two kills of their own. Delta and Banksy now are forced to play together here. Try to catch somebody off guard, and Slider is the one they find. Banksy's gonna fall in the process. Good shots there from Sandwich. Sandwich with two. Beautiful shots there. Leon and Caveman now are the two up. On board now with Leon over here. Trying to find a 1v1 here. Can he win it? Good shots there from Leon. Headshot on. 17 to 8 is the score. 17 to 9 is Delta Ball. And, ooh. Sam with some big picks there for the Panthers. 11 17. Starting to claw at that lead here. Caveman in a 1v1. Can he find the final blow? No, he's not. Sam right now with some big plays here. Delta's going to find him, however. Here comes Delta with a big slide here. Trying to, he's got two Panthers on him. Gets the punch. He's going to get traded. 
Right now, Delta sitting on seven kills. He's absolutely performing here. But here's Bangski in the corner of the map here. Is he gonna catch somebody off guard? Yes, he will. He's gonna find a blow. Punch to the face to Sandwich. He sends him a knuckle sandwich. Hold on, Banks. He's got more here. He's gonna have to back down. Delta gets picked off by Slider after getting one. It's 21, 22 to 17 kills. Right now being Slider. Banks, he's gonna get another here. Sweeps kill lead for Armada. Banks, he's not gonna be able to find a final blow. However, Caveman's gonna clean it up. Beautiful teamwork online for Cold Cell here. Del Banks, he's gonna have to run away. Back down, waiting for some support here. Leon's gonna help him. Good support there from, from Leo. Banksy sliding in. Can he get a bump out of blow? Banksy gets two! And a huge swing of kills. There's a 10 point lead. Oh, Banksy wants more! He says, bring me in! He's gonna have to back down here. Delta's turn to bring on the heat. He's gonna get picked. Sam with two kills there. Still a nine point lead. Caveman and Leon working together. Gonna find a pick. Cave and Leon just kinda trying to stay alive here. Tied out some of the pressure here for the Panthers, and now it's their turn to put on the gas. Caveman and Leon start stampeding forward. But however, Panthers jerseys are gonna meet him. Leon now gonna have to just back out. He's got no shields, barely any health. And here he comes. Leon just sneaking up here. He's gonna see a name thrown at him. He's got somebody to his back here, maybe Delta. Nope, not Delta, but Leon's gonna have to cover fire Delta as a Banks get to kill me at while. 31 to 21, 32 to 21. Armada, they've jumped out to this healthy lead, and now they just have to keep them at a distance, keeping them at arm's length. And surely they have this. 18 kills remaining for, in order for Full Sail Armada to win this. There's another trade for Delta. Leon getting some shots in, punch to the face, gets traded, and they don't mind that. They do not mind that. Cave helps them out there. Delta with 10 kills, Banks you with 9. Right, right now, Armada's in the driving seat, and they do not seem to be letting up anytime soon. 35 kills right now for Armada. They just need 15. Banks, he's going to fall in the process. Here comes Cave, trying to work this side of the map. He finds some crucial damage, but can't get the final shot. He knows that there's plenty of pressure up towards that top. It's going to come out here to Utility. And Armada's grouped up right now. They could go for one final wave of kills to really put the seal on this. An 11-point lead here. Caveman. Cutting through the middle of the map here. Can he get this kill? Oh, no, he's not. Three kills go the way of the Panthers here. And Delta's trying to clean up. That's four. Still an eight-point lead, but the Panthers, they're going to bounce back with a clean four. Six minutes, 30 left here. Armada in the driving seat, but Panthers starting to put some momentum together. Leon gets traded out. Armada's keeping their lead. Trying to get a kill here. Beautiful shots out from Banksy. That's going to put him at 10 kills here. Nine-point lead. Now both teams just trying to bay for map positioning here. Leon's going to get punched in the back here. And here comes a collapse for the Panthers. Caveman and Delta left alive here. Seven point lead for them. The, the translocators online at top mid. Who's going to get it? Looks like the Panthers got their translocator. They're trying to claw back at this lead. And they've got an ability to help them do so. Caveman's going to get pressured out. Banksy's trying to help him out here. Him and Banksy's going to work a kill. Two kills go the way of Armada. Eight kills to win here. But the Panthers are revving up the gas. They're trying to go through the gears here and pull themselves back into this one. Caveman is going to jump through the map. You realize Leon falls to his side. Now he gets shot in the back. Caveman is going to get caught out. Can he escape? No, he won't. He's going on board with Banksy at 12 kills here. Having a great map here. It's 43 to 37. It's a five kill lead. Armada's lead is starting to crumble. The Panthers are just putting it on. The punch is going to be a miss here for Banksy, but he can get the final blow. Five kills remaining for Full Cell Armada. Can they hold on? Two more kills go the way of the Panthers. Banks, crucial kill. Huge kill there. Puts it to four. Delta gets pressured out. Can Banksy cover him? Yes, he will. Banksy has another one. And if he would have gotten that one, I would have lost my mind. Delta's going to get pressured out. He's going to get a kill at the nade. Two kills remaining for Full Cell Armada. One kill remaining for Full Cell Armada. Can Delta get it right here? No, he won't. Let's go on board with Caveman. He's, he's got a 1v1 in his sights. Nope, he's going to get shot in the back. Banksy's turn. Can he get the trade? Just one remaining. Seven for the Panthers. Here comes a grenade. Banksy has to run. They just need to get one. One trade is all it will take. And Delta cleans it up. And Mac 2 goes the way of Armada. And it was a strong lead, but it got really shaky there towards the end. Panthers almost clawed their way back into that one. But 2-0 is going to go the way of Armada, and they're on match point. It's a very close game for map 1 and 2. I, would ex I wouldn't be surprised if the Panthers bounce back in map 3, but 
My oh my, what a performance there from Full Sail Armada. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these kills. And Armada as a team performed very well here. Banksy with 15 and Delta with 14 continuing their good form. Leo also getting in the kill feed here with 13 of his own. Caveman struggling just a tad with single digits on 8. But Armada, they had like a 10, 12 kill lead there. And then Panthers just started swinging punches. But let's go ahead and take a look at this third map here. It's going to be on recharge and the game mode's going to be stronghold. Let's see how they do on recharge. We haven't seen loads of recharge for Full Sail Armada. I want to thank everyone for tuning in, supporting Full Sail. And even if you are not supporting Full Sail, thank you for tuning in. But right now, Full Sail Armada is about to move to 4 and 2. They just need one more map. Can they do it here on the Stronghold? Or will the Panthers force us into a map 4? And if we do go to map 4, that will be an oddball on streets. But here we go. It's going to be a recharge. Stronghold. Now the key to this map is getting camo at lower mid. If you can control mid and get those camos, you can really start to put on the gas and start marauding around the map here. So let's see if the breakoff goes in favor towards mid. What team? But let's st start on board with Leo here, the team captain for Armada. Leo's gonna jump straight through the fire. Delta's gonna help him out here. Him and Delta just. Full gas here from Full Sail Armada. Trades are going to go multiple ways here. Now, for those unfamiliar with the game mode here, what it requires is control of two kills. Now, B is going to go in favor of the Panthers. However, as I say, that A is going to flip. But Delta gets the camo here. He's going to be a sneaky little boy as he, as he crawls through mid here. Here he goes. Tippy toe, toe tip. He's going to get on the hill with the camo. They're looking. He's like, where is he? Where is he? I'm right here. Can he get the final blow? Delta's trying to get it. Yes, he will. He's got more pressure on. He gets the punch straight. Big play there from Delta. Putting a lot of pressure on the B here. And I believe, I believe Armada's going to get it here. The bait to get that final kill. Armada starting off hot here. B and C going the way of Armada. And map pressure as well. The grapple's going to give him the shock rifle. Oh, man. And do I love a shock rifle. Banksy with four kills already. Shot across the map. Not going to get a final blow. He is flying around the map. Oh, my goodness. What a play there. He's got the shock rifle. He's gonna get a shot there. He had to grapple the shock rifle. Banksy was just trying to do it all here. And here comes Delta. He's gonna try and get a trade here. He's just slowly walking up here on the B point. Can he get the kill here? He chases him out of the hill. B and C both way of full cell armada. But as I say that, it's gonna be a swap. A temporary three hill for armada, but it's A and B right now. So we're gonna switch sides of the map here. But Delta still has good map position here for armada. And he's the crucial player here. 40 to four here. A minute 30 played. Here comes Delta. He's going to push you Hall. Can he get it? Doesn't get the final shot. Just needed one more bullet to connect here. He's chasing it down. And he sniffs him out. And here he goes. He's going to try to go for two. He gets a trade here. Beautiful place here. Banksy has the shock rifle back in half. He's going to look to light somebody up here. Active camo coming on board here. Banksy spots that one. Banksy here. See some pressure. Catches him out. He still has that shock rifle in his back pocket, but he elects not to use it. Gets traded out. Map pressure is still belonging to Armada. They're not trying to push for C. They're not trying to push it. They're continuing to control the map, getting the waves of kills. But however, a, a map flip's going to go and see the flips traded here temporarily. And Armada's just staying in the driving seat. They're not overextending their welcome. But as I say that, B pressure's going to be put on. k Van's going to help out here. C and B is going the way of our mother. They're just slowly increasing this lead. 83 to 4 here with 2 minutes and 30 played. Let's go on board with Banksy here as he's trying to kite them over at mid-map. He's the key player. He has so much to watch here. You can see all these lanes he has. But Caveman's in a 1v1. He's going to lose it. That's going to be the go sign. But, oh, he misses the grapple up. He's going to lose his momentum here. He's got two players flying at him here. And here comes the push for the Panthers. Delta has to help him out here. He's got the commando in hand. Enemy team He's going to back out here. Oh my, oh my. A lot of pressure putting on the Delta. He's going to fall in the mean hand. And now Panthers with some chance to put points on the board. It's 99 to 17. Leon throwing a grenade out towards A. He's just trying to pressure them out of the objective here. Now the Panthers have mid-map objective. Which is making it very difficult to get into the B hill here. Thanks he falls in the process. 
And that's going to be a collapse on the Leon here. Panthers, they're the ones now starting to control the map and having it their way. Delta here has, a, has some pressure out here towards Pipes. He's going to get pressured out by two here. Banksy with nine kills after a hot start. He's going to try and stay alive towards Hall. Let's see if Armada can work something here. Shots across the map here. Stays, stays alive, keeps his life. He's trying to help out his teammate here. Leon has spotted somebody with that ping. Here it comes. Leon and him are going to collapse. They're going to try and push these pipes, these little back room here. Disruptor in hand here. Banksy's trying to put some pressure on the map. Punch in the face here! Him and Leon work it here. B, B points. Not going to go the way just yet. Panthers clean out B. And just like that, the lead has evaporated. And the Panthers are within 24 points here. 20 as we're, as we're speaking. As we are speaking, excuse my English language. But this game is close here. Right now the Panthers are driving and trying to make this a tie game. Trying to re regain the lead here. Delta staying alive, trying to put some pressure on it. It's going to do so successfully. Looks like it's going to be a map flip. Are they going to keep A and C and force them out towards B? It looks like that's going to be the play here for Full Cell Armada. However, A is not going to be a free one. Okay, Delta knows somebody's here. He spots him out. But he's going to get pressured from multiple angles. A's going to flip, but the pressure's going to come in here. B's, A's going to flip meanwhile. Banksy's going to fall, and Armada had a couple of seconds there, but... Right now, Panthers have restored the lead. And they need it right now. Armada's on map point. It's 2-0 in their favor. Panthers are trying to extend this to a map 4 here, but... Hey, man's got a great angle. Can he find the kill here? But that... Ooh! Slider turns around and finds Cave. Let's go on board with Delta here. He finds a pick. He finds a second. Trying to capture A here. He's going to get a third. But it's going to cost him his life. Banksy's going to fall in the meantime. Leon here. Can he get his trade? Final bullet's not going to go the way. But B's going to go the way. Full cell Armada. Is C going to go the way? But oh, the Panthers. Pills are just sliding back and forth. It's going to be a 30 point lead here. But two kills go in the way of Armada. It's potentially going to give them. The map positioning and C's gonna go the way. And a chance here for Armada to stabilize. Delta capturing C. Banksy with a crucial job here at B. It's not gonna fall. Delta, can you get this kill? It'd be crucial. No. B's gonna go the way. Does get that flow. Delta here with 12 kills. Leading the line for full cell Armada. And after Camo catches him out there. Beautiful play from Sam. And Banksy's trying to get B meanwhile, but Armada. A four down here, but came in battling out. It's gonna go the way of C. C's gonna be flipped, but I believe the A will go the way of Armada. However, they're trying to break towards mid map. Caveman has to back up. He's got his shield recharged. And here comes B. No, he's just he's alive inside. Damn, and a punch to the face catches him out of nowhere. And these hills right now are just flopping. Who's gonna come out on top? A and C is right now in the way of Armada. They kind of have to stretch here. It's a little difficult to control this. But I believe they've got map control now. Here comes Hall. Pressure from Banksy. He's going to maraud forward here. A is going to fall the way. But here comes B. Panthers have A. And they have B. And it's going to be contested. K-Man looking out for his brother over here. And Banksy finds one. And that should be Armada's B hill. However, pressure onto the hill. No. Banksy claims him out. Still need to flip it here. And Armada will do so. But right now, it's just back and forth. Kills are going the way, but, but it looks like Armada has mid-map control, and thus, map control. And Banksy, some shots. Crucial out there. He's going to grapple away. That is his signature today. He is just Spider-Man here. Halo is an Xbox game, not a PlayStation game, but a missed punch there. Can he get one? Delta's there to help him out. He stays alive, courtesy of Delta's heroics. Leon has a 1v1 on the other side of that. He finds it. Miss! Oh, my. Banksy is staying alive here. Trying to keep the mid-map control. And it looks like Active Camo is 10 seconds away here. B and C in the way of Full Sail Armada. They're clawing back at this lead. About to tie it up. Banksy just flips the hill. Goes back in a three-way hill capture here from Armada. They're putting on the gas. Banksy finds another on a bit of a streak right now. Delta sends him a electrocution here. And he knows Camo's active. He's just trying to find him. You just see him punch in the air. Banksy putting pressure right towards C. And he gets the final blow. It'd be humongous. No. So the Panthers will get a hill and stop the bleeding. But Armada has jumped into a huge lead here. However, some kills are falling the way of the Panthers. They need to respond here. Leon trying to get off. Take him off the B hill. I don't think it's going to work. 
B and C go the way. Now the Panthers are in the driving seat here. I mean, all three maps have gone to the wire. Even though the, it's a 2-0 lead right now for Armada. And so far, map three is the same here. Armada had a very strong opening. The Panthers pull it back. But right now, A and C is in favor of full sale. The Panthers have to make a move soon, rather than later. Leon's trying to defend A here. Caveman helping him out. Shots to the face. Can Caveman stay alive? He's just surviving with a slimmer of health. The grenade's not going to connect. But Banksy gets B meanwhile. But they're going to lose A. Shots ring across the dome here. But Banksy has mid-map. As I say that. Pressure coming from multiple sides here. He's going to capture out Banksy. Leon. Last line of defense. Gets a kill out here. The Caveman's going to fall in the process. Delta sneaking through C here. Can you find anyone? You put pressure on to B. Trying to help stop and prevent that B build, but no, not gonna work. C's gonna go the way. Panthers right now accumulating the points. Nine minutes and 30 minutes have been played so far. 25 point lead for Armada. A and C's going the way. It's just, it's just a hot potato. They're just rotating. It's running around the rosies. We'll go get that hill. We'll move over there and get that hill. Kill blah 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 blue. Mid map control. But Armada right now has the lead. Delta is trying to reclaim mid-map control. Realizing that somebody's kind of hanging out towards the point. But he's going to be back down. Panther's teammates helping him out. Delta with some crucial shots there. Caveman's going to fall in the meanwhile. As the camel gets dropped, but Delta's going to deny him of the pop. Delta gets two. Those are huge kills here. Now, he's going to have the, the active camo. It's a 15-point game here. 13, 12, 11, 10. Delta is popping off here with the active camo. Seven. Six kills are just going his way here. He still has the active camo in hand. Three, two, one. Defeat. Armada is your victor here. A 3 0 sweep after a very close map three. And my oh my, there are beautiful plays towards the end here from Delta. And Armada's gonna take it in three. Let's go ahead and take a look at that scoreboard. It's been Banksy so far. But Delta really turned up there at the end. Caveman also in the kill feed. And it was just neck and neck there. Banksy, C Cave, and Delta working as a trio there. Leo just in the back helping them, keeping them afloat. But Armada takes it in three. And it, even though it was a 3-0 game, it was definitely a very, very close game if you stayed the whole game there. So let's get a move. Full sell Armada to four and two. And the Panthers are now going to move to 3-3. Three and three. Armada's on a 3-0 run after beating two Utah teams. They're now going to take a Florida team. And they're looking really strong here. They're really starting to find that groove. I'm going to go and get an interview really quickly. See if anybody wants to. So do not go anywhere. More to come here. Welcome back, guys. So, Full Sail Armada took it in a 3 0 fashion over the Panthers, and here to talk about their game is Banksy. But, man, what a performance you had there. Absolute hot. What was the key here going into this to, to get a 3 0 here? Um, I really think we 
what we did as a team is we kind of sat back and talk, talked about it, like going into Bandits. It's such a nerve-wracking thing in a meta change, like how well you're going to do. But my teammates kind of held me up, and, you know, we kind of all did the same thing for each other where we kind of were able to carry it and just play so great off each other. It literally just carried the 3-0. And even though, our, you know, the enemy was great, they, they really knew how to turn us around. But we kept coming back together, just talking about it and really driving it. Yeah, an absolute performance there, especially from you, Banksy. So let's talk a little bit about you. You were absolutely popping off there. You were shooting shots, getting your trades. It was just on performance, and the team overall was performing well. What would you credit today's success to? And I also want to talk about the Bandit, because that is a change. And we're really starting to see you step up here. I would say, like, today's success, uh, when it comes down to is we cleared our comms because with the bandit you can't really solo like as much as you could with the br there's not really a lot of solo channeling um there should always be somebody there and like the credit to the win is my teammates because we were always able to play off of each other and kind of clean up um and it, it really helped me just feel a lot more impactful on the map uh because i do believe i play more of a support role for our team and in this time i with the bandit we just kind of woke up uh kept the comms clear and concise and just kept trying to clean up and make sure we kind of stayed with the enemy versus falling behind now let's talk about the first map there on the live fire on king of the hill that was that was a nail biter they looked really strong taking the first hill what were the comms to get you guys back into that game and what was the situation throughout that map so with that map, um, to kind of start off, we went into it saying, let's see where they go to kind of play ourselves. Um, a lot of people either split for heal, hill or they split for that overshield. Um, and in that case, we were kind of blindsided. They kind of double split. And we kind of always went back to that. Like, it's fine. They can get the first hill. Let's try to recollect ourselves on hill two. Um, and, you know, even though they got it, they were kind of up and they were playing very well we were able to kind of calm collectively, like move under the map, control the map in the best of our abilities and kind of get back on that hill too. And it was just kind of making sure we kind of went back to, okay, watch where they split versus just flying at them. Um, we always said, if you're going to fly at them, you know, have that overshield, have that 3v1 kind of like where you have that advantage, always calling the deaths, the who's up, when they're up and where they spawn. We just tried to stay as solid to that as we could the whole map and it ended up working out in our favor now that last hill was especially crazy and i, I would assume it gave you guys so much momentum talk about the comms and just that that those final seconds there in that hill one or so in, on that, that hill seven <laughs> on that last hill we kind of like went into it knowing that hey we can do it we can get it and run it but overshield was coming up so we kind of got the time we could um, and you kind of saw where we, we kind of, they, they kind of swarmed us. They got their kills in, but we were able to kind of say, hey, let's get overshield. And with that overshield, we were just kind of talking. I believe it was Dell that got it. Delta got it. And we were like, okay, let's swarm this hill. Let's take it over. And we kind of played off of that, that like mindset of we have an overshield. And then with Leo kind of controlling those uh, dice blocks on that last hill, very much kind of kept us in the, the kind of, support role where i was kind of in the back line leo was capping the points and we were just able to kind of piece them and uh get the enemy team flustered in that last hill and it, it, it ended up in a win now let's talk about map two and we were talking about trades playing as a team and it really was at the forefront especially at the very beginning what was the key there to just jumping out on that aquarius because you guys had about like a 12 point lead there so on the aquarius it has been a map that we have been talking about ever since bandits because it has weird spawns. Um, it's it's not the most consistent, but you can make it the most impactful for your team, um, where you kind of split the 2-2 two -two and you want to get that mid control. We kind of went with that mindset, and no matter the deaths that came that early, we we just kept saying, push, like, go get them. They're one in their base weak. We always knew who was Abso and where they were. So we kind of kept on that, and if there was one Abso, someone was pushing it. Let it be me, Del, Leo, or Cave. We always knew where we were and who we could push. Even if we fell behind, those early kills had such a momentum in that Slayer that we haven't felt in a long time, in my opinion. Yeah, that, that. that first half of that Slayer was a clinical performance. You guys kept getting four downs. 
and then moving on to the final map that recharged there. Now, from what I was watching, it was just a loop-de-loop, a ring around the rosies, a hot potato, the hills just going bing, 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 boom. You know, it was AC, and then it was AB, and then it was CB. How how do you start to find consistency, especially when kills are going everywhere, hills are going everywhere? What are, How do you guys as a team control the chaos? So in that, that map really matters where you lock down the enemy team. Let it be A, B, C, A, or like kind of C, B. Where can you keep the team, the enemy team locked down for the longest? And, you know, you could kind of see there where we kind of swap. They had us locked down on B, or we had them locked down on C. Um, it kind of comes to where you want them. And about in the middle there where you saw we were kind of neck and neck with the trading, uh, we made the call like, hey, we just need to get A right now. If we can get A control just with how you know beautiful the setup is on A, we can bring this game back and just be able to control either C or B how we want. Uh, we And once we kind of did that, you kind of see where it went. We were able to get trades, uh, keep trading hills. It was kind of that momentum of like the moment they either cleared us, we pushed another hill. So it was definitely a lot more comfortable of a thing to just reset our minds say go get a even though you know we're falling behind let's go get a let's reset the map they haven't won yet well yeah it was a beautiful 3-0 and it was a close 3-0 you know we don't you don't usually see a sweep that was that close i want to talk about you really quick before you go banksy what kind of got you into competitive video gaming and into halo um halo i, I would say is most uh when i was a kid it was my first arena shooter um with the Xbox kind of the announcement, I was just a little kid playing Halo. I didn't know what I was doing, but I loved the game. Yeah. Um, it, you know, Halo 3 was what kind of drove me into like locals when mm -hmm. I was a kid. Playing locals, playing that kind of competitive made the game more fun than in a casual aspect. Um, and I kind of just bounced between competitive scenes from there, whatever I can kind of get my hands on and enjoy. And I can tell you, Halo has been the greatest especially with the the guys that we have on the team no matter what four stack we are or even if we're going for a free-for-all with each other it's so enjoyable and halo just kind of keeps that drive even if we're kind of falling behind i know we can get back up and go well i want to thank you for coming in and do you want to shout anything out maybe any socials or any players out anything like that um really just shout out my team yeah um, with, without them i'm gonna be honest i wouldn't play at the the level i am i wouldn't be as confident as i am they definitely have brought something more to the table when it comes to me playing um and i hope they feel the same way with me but definitely like if it wasn't for them i don't you know you never know where these matches can go because it's halo um and they're they're great and i'm excited for every other match we have together well thank you for coming in banksy i was banksy of the full cell armada's halo team there after having a master class in the three zero and that's, and that's right, 3-0, Full Cell Armada took it in a sweep over the Panthers. Thank you for coming in, Banksy. You can go back to your team and continue the celebrations. We look forward to watching you next week. Thank you. Yeah, so you just heard from Banksy there. I mean, it was a tight 3-0. It's going all the ways. But GG to the Panthers. And that's going to about do it here. My name's Kyler Grant, better known as Red Roke. And that's just about it. That's all we have here. Stay tuned. Get into the Discord. Get into Full Sail's Discord. There's other esports going on. I know League of Legends was just playing. Their map might be concluded, although <laughs> Halo wrapped theirs up quick, so there's, there's probably still going. There's other esports to watch, and there's more Halo in the future. So you have to stay around. And that's about do it. My name is Red Roke, and we'll see you guys later.